It is children like her who are most affected by the ongoing drought in Samburu County. They often go unnoticed and depend solely on well-wishers when and if they will come. Troubled by the dire situation of their people back home, affected by drought, a group of 17 professional ladies born in Samburu and some married into Samburu have donated food worth 300,000 shillings to orphanages and the elderly in Samburu East sub-county. <laughs> The women under the Samburu Women Association dug deep into their pockets to come up with the donations which enabled them to provide food to the less privileged children at Huruma and Kind Fund homes and the elderly people in Wamba town. Sometimes we sit in our sitting rooms or living rooms and we flip and blame our leaders and we don't do anything. So it's time for us to do something as individual and for us it's a challenge to everyone out there that it's time for everyone to take charge of the situation we have back at home. The most affected by the ongoing drought are women, the elderly and children with special needs. We need help from even surgeons. There's a lot of opportunity for working together uh, to help these children. The buildings are very congested and they are they need a lot of ventilation so we are really calling as New Art Women Group, we are calling for people to come in, help and support this initiative. Otherwise from our end we are so touched and we thank God for the facility because they are doing a lot of good things. We are so happy and we are showing the, our gratitude. We can show gratitude through our prayers and we are inviting them to come again to give us as a support, to encourage us because we are always here with these children. A long-term solution is urgently needed to tackle the ongoing drought that has hit parts of the country. Najma Ismail, KTN News.